Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Will Ellington and I'm coming to you from Osaka in Japan. In this video I want to review an app called Repa. I'm on the front page of the Repa.app website. This app allows you to do one thing and one thing only, make seamless patterns. So what am I going to talk about? Six points. Let's get straight into it. What is Repa? Well, I've already said that it allows you to create seamless patterns, patterns that you can repeat on an infinite basis. Why would you need seamless images? Two reasons. One, web design. You can already see on the Repa website they're using a seamless pattern and in the background. The second application is print-on-demand products. So this could be a t-shirt, a dress, a bag, whatever it may be, on Redbubble, on Etsy.com, whatever you're designing, whatever fabric you have, a pattern could go on that. That would be the second one. Let's go back to my list. Do we really need, number three, do we really need another app for this? Can't we do this in using an app we might already have? The answer to that is yes, you can. For example, Photoshop I mentioned, uh, InDesign, CorelDRAW, there are a whole number of apps and software that you can use to create seamless images. But the difficulty is with something like Photoshop, it's quite, you need quite an advanced level of Photoshop knowledge to make a seamless pattern. Making a pattern is not so difficult, uh, but making it seamless is quite technical. That's where Repa comes in. It takes away that technical side, cuts down that creation time, lets you just focus on making patterns. So that's the gap it's filling, okay? Number four, what's Repa like to use? Let's get into that now. Let's start the app and have a play around. So when you start the app, you can start a new project. And let's do that right now. Give it a name. Let's call it Test Create Project. And you can see you start by selecting an image. You always work from a base image with Repa. I've uploaded an image of Samuel Beckett. Um, you can use some of their demo images by Repa. You can import images from Unsplash. Very cool. These are 100% royalty free. You can use them for commercial purposes, no problem. So you just click on an image you like, and then you start right away designing from this image. So this is the main GUI, Graphic User Interface for Repa. Uh, let's just have a quick look at it. We've got several things. On the left, we've got our base image, our photo in this case of flowers. Up top, we've got pattern and effects. Pattern, you can choose from uh, pre-built patterns, seamless and seamed. So borderless and bordered, if you like. Seamless, you have different options. The beauty of this um, GUI is in real time, you can see how these options change or affect your pattern. That's really nice. It's such a nice touch. Yeah, so you can have a play around with all these types of um, patterns. Then you've got effects. Effects, you can change colors, make a black and white, add a vignette border, add a gradient, which is really cool. Half tone, duo tone, simplify the colors to two colors. Metamorphosis, which is an experimental option to slightly change, like a kaleidoscope, the aspect of your image. That's really freaky, psychedelic stuff. All right, cool. So pattern effects. And then up top, you've got three options. Design, that's the main process we're doing now, design process. Preview, see your pattern in a bigger screen and export, download your pattern. You can download the pattern as a PNG or a JPEG. You can uh, change the DPI, um, the quality of the image, uh, the size of the image. Uh, with the trial version, you can go up to 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. With the pro version, the paid version, you can go up to 35,000 by 35,000 pixels. That's going to generate a huge file. But that's really important for pro designers working with fabrics where you really need high density, high quality. Let's go back to design. Let me change the image from this flower image to my Beckett image. Uh, one thing you can see is this little border here allows you to home in on a part of your image. 
Now you can also extend this so that you can see the entire image. And if I change the type of tile, now you can see my image is repeated in this way. So it's no longer going from a tiny detail, but I'm capturing the whole image. So those are the two functions really designing patterns. You've got to think about, do I want to capture the whole image in its in integrity and then repeat that? Or do I just want to focus in on a tiny part of the image and create an abstract uh, pattern? So if I go to seamless patterns, you can see from this tiny aspect, I've created this quite cool pattern. And using your mouse button, you can also directly on top here of the image, play around with the size of your capture area. Isn't that cool? If you shift, you can see different patterns. Very nice. And very cool option too is once you've made a pattern you like, at the bottom click snapshot and it saves that pattern. And you can come back to that later. And you can move on and make another one and save it here. So you've got these snapshots to keep track of stuff you've made. It's really, really nice. I must say this GUI, this graphic user interface is very slick, very easy to use. Uh, it's really, really well done. All right. So that's how it is, what, what it's like to use. So how do you go from wrapper to a t-shirt on Redbubble? So let's say you want to design a pattern for a t-shirt. How do you go from here actually to your store? So I'm going to try and show you that. I'm going to use this Beckett image and I'm going to go to a seamed pattern. I like the diamond grid. And I'm going to try and capture his whole image. There we go. And I quite like this, like a pop art kind of Andy Warhol effect. I'm going to use this as the basis of a t-shirt design. Okay. So I'm going to go to export. I'm going to save it as 5,000 by 5,000. The biggest size I can and save as a PNG. And you can see it's exporting one of one. And then I'm going to go to my Redbubble account. I'm on the front page of my Redbubble store, Theatre Merch. And that's the reason I chose Samuel Beckett, because my store is about theatre. I'm going to go to Add New. And then now my image has downloaded. I'm going to go and find that image on my desktop. Here it is. Drag it onto here. And then I'm going to give it a title. Beckett Infinitum. And there's my description of the work. Here's my image. I'm going to choose items on Redbubble where it will allow you to show the repeated image. So I'm not going to use the standard t-shirts. I'm going to go for things like sleeveless tops, graphic t-shirts, chiffon tops. These allow you to actually use that seamless, uh, in this case, sorry, it's seamed, but tileable effect. And then when you're done with your images, you uh, choose design and illustration, uh, funny theatre stuff is a category, not mature, and I'm going to put it on a graphic t-shirt. There we go. And then save work. All right. What is the cost of wrapper? So I'm going to go back to the uh, main website to look at their pricing plans. Okay, so... Um, you can see there are two price plans, pro and hobby. What's the difference? Hobby, $4.99 per month or $60 per year. Pro, $10 per month or $120 per year. What's the difference? This one right here, commercial license. The pro account, you can use any pattern you make commercially. You can use it on a print on demand t-shirt, on Etsy, on whatever you're making. No questions asked. With the hobby account, you can't do that. It's just for sort of hobby purposes. You could use it for web design, for example, but for your own website, not for something you're getting paid for. The second big difference is, I mentioned this earlier, the pro account, 35K 
by 35K pixel size, you can really blow up those images to really high quality with the Pro account. The Hobby account, 5K by 5K, which is fine. That's what I used right now for Redbubble, and it's just loaded. You can see my design on t-shirts here. Let's have a look at the graphic shirt. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool for something I really didn't do much, put much work into. Very nice. Yeah. Um, so really, if you're going to, I'm going to have to delete that, by the way, because I'm just using the um, trial version. So I'll delete this from my store. Final thoughts on Rapper, Rapper, <laughs> Rapper the Rapper, Rapper the Rapper. Okay. What do I think about Rapper? Um, all in all, really, really simple, but a streamlined app. A lot's going on behind the scenes to make it that slick. The user experience is excellent. Very, very uh, user friendly. Would I use it? Would I, would I buy a pro account to use for t-shirt design? Right now, I'm just starting out with print on demand. I don't have a budget, so I probably wouldn't do that. Um, once I start to get more money, enough to cover the cost of this, I might do it. So go check it out yourself. Have a play around. Please subscribe and like the video. It helps a ton. And yeah, take it easy, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.